Okay. Well, let us... Let us go for war. Alright. Contacts. Sejithari Kingdom. Communicate. We don't like you anymore. Wari equivalent. Declare war. Okay, so, um... Available possibilities. Actually, I want... I just want some planets from them. I, I could care less about vassalization. Now... That has a actual colony there. This doesn't have a, actually have a colony. So I guess they can't seed that. I'm trying to get that place. It's not entirely clear that the influence of this will extend up there. Let's just let's just sort of carve up the area. Get that one. I don't know about Golba. We'll just start with these two. And um, we're not going to vassalize. We'll give some out of the way. Cod V to... Wow, there's a lot of these guys. Um, Felnal will vote yes. Gagasi Consciousness will vote no. How about if we give you this Cod V? Oh. Kelsim. Yeah. Gassy conscious, how about okay now they're on board. War costs fifty. We could we could probably do a little bit better then, huh? I don't know about absorbing all this. Well, war score sixty-five. And then we'll just leave them be until the next time we try and defeat them. I think I can absorb three worlds. Construction complete. Ship upkeep minus 20%. That's for orbit modifier. Ship repair, uh, repair speed, repair cost. Ah, uh, engineering bay. Interesting. Construction complete. Nothing that makes things cheaper or improves my. Well, I mean, this will potentially improve my energy credit situation. I guess that'll be good. Okay, it's passed. We're at war. Okay, good. So, let's get our fleets mobilized. Mm. That's two different uh, fleets we've got. Oh, uh, okay. Tivi Kerman. Still some fleet issues. She's 78. Hmm. She's got the small fleet. Lizfi Kerman has the big powerful fleet. Uh, that's the wrong empire. Let's not attack the wrong people. We'll retain the four fleet here in Zerk. Let's start building more things. I don't even know what uh, type of weapons work best against these guys. Bronco class, Kraken Bane class. Just get a mix of things building. Okay. On to Lesma. Lemsa, sorry. Well, things are happening here. Hostile fleet engaged. We just zap right in and start engaging him. Well, it should be pretty easy. Okay, we have those crew quarters and everything. Army upkeep, negative 10%. Eh, that seems... Core sector planets. That's this, isn't it? Yeah, I think that would be really helpful. Right now. Uh, 
Well, these are all our allies against that thing. Why isn't that thing dying, like, quickly? Yeah, of course, extra planets. Situation log updated. Okay. Uh, all right. Here's here are the big guys. Here we go. Big battle coming up. Epic, epic fight here. Their fleet against ours. We've, we outnumber them, but I don't know about the competency of our fellow forces. They don't have any battleships. These guys have 56 corvettes. Uh, that's gonna create lag. Oh, wait. The Gagasi Consciousness has brought in two other fleets. Just as big the as the ones engaged. we already have here. So, now we potentially quadruple their numbers? Or power? Hostile fleet engaged. I don't know, those guys are just sitting over there. Well, lag, lag has happened because the AI decided to create so many Corvettes. Still sort of indicates that we're losing, which is weird. Maybe we should just close this. Oh. Oh, save. Saving is good. These are our battle... No, that's a cruiser. Where's our battleship? Cruiser. Cruiser. Destroyer. Oh, our battleship's way back there. Those are our two battleships. Well, these guys are fighting valiantly, but it's hopeless. <laughs> they should have made alliances. They should have made alliances. Probably one of those. Uh, okay, it's just a small force here. Okay. We should send some of our offensive peoples, right? Assault armies? Order our assault armies to embark into space. Hmm. How about just from uh, Jeb and Kerbin? Colony ship is just hanging out in Bakradil. Um, we could colonize up here. Extend our influence to Botine. That's quite a ways away, but if you're gonna have to spend all that cash, that'd be a thing. Or we could colonize that one world. What was it? This one, Beer. Oh, Beer barely lies within our space. We better. I don't know. Yeah, I think we should. How, how many tiles is it? Does it say? 24 tiles, yeah. It's a little bit cold. Sort of nippy. But yeah, let's colonize this one. Well, we've only got one willing person. Habitability 30%? I thought it was 70%. Oh! 70% for Neo Kerbals. 30% for Kerbals. Hmm. Maybe we won't send them there then. 
They're not gonna like that. We should send Neo Kerbals there. This one is more suited to Kerbals. Oh, but it's only nine tiles? Sorry guys, you're gonna have to deal with the fact that that's a little bit hard. It's gonna be cold. We should probably terraform that place then, huh? How does that work exactly? Transmission. Okay, uh, trade deal offer. Migration access? To own plants for the duration of trade. Uh, well, I guess we're xenophiles. They're fanatic xenophiles. And they're materialists. Hostile fleet engaged. I guess we will... I don't know. So, it sounds like something problematic, though. Sounds like it could cause problems. Let me pause there. Okay, so... Sentient Combat AI. Uh... Hmm... Don't know about that. I think I'll, I'll pass on the Combat AI. Allows our science ship to assist with the research on a colony. Well, that's a minor improvement. Energy weapon attack speed. Maybe it'll lead to something interesting though. Let's go with that. Android army. We're, we're getting real serious here, folks. Synthetics, android armies, artificial intelligence, citizens' rights. Any self-aware machine that fulfills the criteria of possessing true artificial intelligence is to be regarded as an individual with all the rights and obligations. Dangerous technology. No kidding. Uh, okay guys. Should we, like, allow for android armies? Or should we just build an engineering facility thing? Or quantum missiles? Uh, are we going down this road? I mean, are we going down this road? Android armies, synthetic populations... I mean, they might completely replace the Kerbals. Citizen rights for these guys, potentially. Hmm... What the, Well, I don't know what I want to do. I haven't... Well, I guess... It, it's... Yeah, it's rare, it's dangerous... It's... Kerbal, kind of? Okay, well, we'll try it. Except not Kerbal? Fundamentally? Okay. This sector feels like it will lag. Guys, are you gonna be able to attack stuff here? There's a lot of stuff to attack, I know. Oh, it's paused. Okay, well, you guys are uh, in the middle of a battle here. Well, we'll go for the synthetics, and we'll agree to migration access. We'll embrace all the peoples. We'll make them... We, we, we will embrace all the peoples. Situation log we'll embrace you whether you like it or not. Yeah, something like that. Radical... Radical Xenophiles. Words from a true conqueror. Ah, uh, don't put it that way. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, so let's just embark all of our assault armies. Hostile fleet engaged. I mean, what are they doing anyway? Onward. One big happy family, indeed. Indeed, that is what we want. Kerbals just want people to be happy. Uh, I don't know what the new Kerbals want, though. Oh, there's another war going on. Speaking of new Kerbals, can we just... Okay, well, there's a migrating Kerbal there. Production error. Kerbal, Neo Kerbal, Neo Kerbal. Still plenty of Kerbals around. There's no building here. That one's gonna move. That one's not built yet. Um, 
Let's rearrange it like this. There we go. I guess they're bombarding. Well, stuff is going on. This is the Philno Coalition. That's our allies. What's your take on Neos? Do you want them to integrate or do you see them as too big of a problem? Well, can we integrate them? Well, I mean, I think the Kerbals would like them to be happy. How do we get them to be happy? That, that I don't know. How do we get the uh, Neo Kerbals to be happy? Happy with their Kerbal brothers and sisters. The happiness is not very good right now. 37.5%. And that's with a Xeno Zoo. Oh, that, I moved the population from the Xeno Zoo, sorry. Please man the Xeno Zoo. Happiness 20.5% there. We have all these preferences strong, rapid breeders. Check on the planet. Oh yeah, how about the happiness modifiers? Okay, happiness. Um, leadership primary species only. Oh, I, I thought we... Oh, I guess we didn't actually have that. Okay. First contact protocol peaceful. Oh, come on, Neo Kerbals. Native enlightenment allowed. Alien overlords. Wow, I can't do anything about that. Um, Alright, uh, we, we, we need to change our policy about leadership. We Well, we knew that. Yeah, well, we're not going to change our first contact protocol, darn it. See, they should have the information about what they like and dislike there. What does native enlightenment mean? Our technological advances could potentially be shared with more primitive societies, opening up new horizons for them. Okay. If I, let, let's say, hold on, let me check that that's not gonna annoy the Kerbal population. Now, see, our Kerbal population does not like Xenos allowed. Shoot. Native Enlightenment allowed, minus 5%. They actually don't like Native Enlightenment either. Wait a minute, this is our Kerbal population. Why do they... First contact protocol called peaceful they don't like? Well, these guys are xenophobic. Oh, wait, wait, let's go to our normal Kerbals. Normal Kerbals. Well, these guys aren't bothered by anything. The Kerbals on, on Rock Max are bothered. Now, these guys are happy with Governor Hilvey Kerman, so the governors do increase happiness. I should inc I should put a governor on Rocket Max. Colony established. It doesn't say they increase happiness, but they do. Okay, let's recruit you. Only 2%? How do well, I guess they'll level up. Hmm. Subspecies more trouble. Well, we're Kerbals. We can't... But it's, wow, how expensive is that? Okay, well, it looks like native enlightenment prohibited. We may not enlighten primitives. I guess this is sort of like, uh... What you got? Um, Non-interference sort of thing. I guess that's fair. Yeah, I guess uh, it's a non-interference sort of thing. I hope. So that makes you guys marginally happier? Well, it looks like they're happier. Yeah, uh, Prime Directive, yeah. Okay, please don't kill each other. 
<sighs> integrating other... Okay, but we really need to deal with our energy credit situation, and that's because we've got eight directly controlled planets now. Yeah. That's a lot. Okay, so it is about time to expand our sectors. Research complete. Okay, disruptors have been done. Core sector planets is what I'm really waiting for. Arc emitter, synchronized defenses. Well, physics lab. I mean, at least it's not the crazy AI stuff anymore there. He was our computer guy after all. He opened the floodgates to that sort of thing. Construction complete. Okay, well let's let's just do it because otherwise we're gonna lose too much cash. All right, manage sector. Cador, Plov. And uh, that one isn't actually colonized yet. Don't know about Mudstrom. Well, I probably have to just go ahead and add the frontier here. Okay, now six out of six, we completed the research. Now we are balanced. We have extra core sector. I would like a few more of those technologies, but that's probably hoping for too much. Clone army. Man. Um, okay, hydroponics, amoeba flagella. Well, we should clear massive glaciers. We're colonizing Arctic stuff. We are forced to surrender. Don't think uh, we will forget how Kelsey, yeah, yeah. Okay, we have victory. They surrendered. We don't even have to attack the stuff. I guess we got all we wanted. Now we've got nine out of six again. <laughs> Just in time. Just in time. Okay, that's fine. No access. Why would the third fleet have a problem here? That's our territory now. Don't know what you're talking about. Third fleet. And let's send some science ships. We need to send some science ships. Uh that That was not supposed to be ours, was it? Oh, I guess so. I was trying to get this place. Oh, this ter uh, Teranda, but it ended up being part of that empire now. I was trying to envelop it, but I couldn't. This one's still in the Sejithari Kingdom. This one is borderline. Okay, well let's start with the borderline one and see what's there. Where is my... Oh, civilian ships are collapsed. Oop. Okay, you... Survey that. You... Survey that. You... Finally we have stuff to survey. Um... What? Lies within our space. Why can't you survey? It requires a scientist. Okay. I mean, worried there for a sec. Cheap. No, I don't want somebody cheap. Construction complete. Leader lifespan. I could deal with that. Actually, we need one to go to there to investigate the debris. That would be better. So now we have a world here. Called Riblaga. And it could do with some management. People are not happy. Recently conquered, fanatic materialist. They like orbital bombardment, and I guess they like artificial intelligence, or they don't like artificial intelligence, tough to say. I guess all the power plants were destroyed in the fighting. 
They're not doing a particularly good job harvesting stuff, though, I think. And they're planning to move. That's number seven in the queue. That's gonna take a while. Well, they might have to starve a little bit, but happiness is zero percent. Yeah, starvation is not making them happy. Leaders. Can we recruit one of their leaders? Okay, uh, Governor Garma. Might make him happy. Okay. Um... Well, heck. If they're in their own little sector and have their own governor... Hi, Lila Root. I, I've got... I, I've I finally got other species. I've conquered them. I attacked the Sigithari King uh, Empire. I, I didn't wipe them out or anything. I just took some of their stuff. And uh, now I have to worry about them. Now I can't make this part of the sector, so this will be sort of my test bed for other things. Fortunately, it's not too bad off. Well, a lot of unemployed peoples. Don't know why he's unemployed. So yeah, but maybe this this can become its own sector. I don't know, is it a good idea to create a sector out of a people that you just conquered? But we've got too many planets right now. Better than them being not being governed, okay. So create new sector. I don't think we have to uh, put the non-populated ones in. We'll develop those separately. That one could be settled, actually. Just those two, yeah. And we'll give them their own governor. Garma. Oh, no, not Rockamax. If we take a look, are they happy with this decision? Well, he's only adding plus 2% happiness right now, but he'll level up, hopefully. Um, yeah, removing sectors takes 25 influence. Yeah, but when I removed... Uh, well, yeah, when I removed, it wasn't a sector yet. But, uh, yeah, minus 1 energy credit. So, we, at least we solved our energy credit situation. That was the main thing. We've also got all these fleets that we could send back home, so let's do that. Let's pull our fleets back. There, yeah, those are Sejithari. Robotic armies? Well, I mean, uh, will Sejithari... Maybe I'll hire Sejithari ones. Is it defense armies or assault armies to stop the insurrection? And is it wise to have Sigithari ones, you know, not Kerbal ones? Is that alright? Or no? You're not sure if they're loyal? Well, I guess we'll find out. Complete. We've balanced our budget and we are proceeding... We've given them their own sector and we're proceeding to work out our differences. Representative from Neo-Kerbal communities, speaking of differences, on Rockmax has traveled to Kerbin to voice the grievances of his people. According to him, Neo Kerbals are subjected to widespread discrimination by Kerbal authorities. Well, it is better than bombing things on his home world, and he is demanding we take immediate action. Worrying? No, no, this is an improvement. Can we do something about that? I mean, um, can we like have an edict that says? Well, uh, we could have the ethics divergence minus 10% and happiness plus 10%. Uh, I'll have to wait a little bit. Um, but how about a uh, play nice edict? Construction complete. Uh, yeah, Dollar Root's been playing Stellaris every Tuesday, Ernan. Do they have voting rights? How do I know if they have voting rights? Um, voting rights. 
Elitism. Um, the question of leadership is best left to our society's most respected and knowledgeable members. So, uh, yeah, nobody has any voting rights. But we allowed Xenos into our leadership. Yeah, I, I can't really set that one. I have no choice. Okay, well, we've, uh, got clearing the noxious swamps. Core sector plants plus one. Yes. <laughs> yes. I want that. And Danley Kerman will, uh, do it at lightning pace. 56%. Okay, we've got some debris analyzed. Oh, look at that Quivarian League. Well, okay, we're pretty big too, but still. Um, we better uh, absorb the United Zebra Dragon Council into our thing. So that we can really stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Quivarian League. In retrospect, grabbing this place was not such a good idea. I saw no populated places in the middle here, but we haven't really connected up our stuff. Um, maybe this Jadaramus would have been better. We've got sort of a patchwork now. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up soon. And we've, we've fought another war. We've won handily, very easily, in fact. So that's positive. Kerbals are a peaceful race. But, um... But they, they don't like people preventing them from doing science. And the Kerbals were sort of in the way of our... We had no place to do science anymore. We had literally uh, surveyed all the systems. There was no place to do any science. And so the Kerbals were frustrated that these people were in, in the way, preventing us from doing science. And so we had to... System um, survey complete. Well, we had to conquer them, so we had systems to survey. That's what Kerbals do. They have to survey systems. And now we, now we have systems to survey. But uh, I think they'll run out pretty quickly, so we we may need to, you know, proceed. Now this place, we definitely need to have a shipyard over here, because otherwise, otherwise it's gonna be a problem. Did you remember to take the mystery goo everywhere? Uh, some, uh, I think some of it has developed sentience. Most things are developing sentience. This is certainly bold. Building has been ruined by the Sagittarian rep Repatriarchs on Lurgy Pash. Have you ever had this happen before? Uh, I think there's a sign that they're not happy. They have their own governor, but... Hmm... There's... Riblaga. Lurgy Pash. I hope he levels up soon. Edicts. I think we need a propaganda broadcast here. Alright, you guys are unhappy, yeah. Happiness is low. Alright, um, fine, propaganda it is. Re-education? No, no, just propaganda. Kerbal propaganda would be very interesting. Simple rocket engines, but no concept of the wheel. But the concept of the wheel comes with the chariot, right? That's a war machine. Tankers uh, that roam around the VAB are merely relics of... Uh, and, uh, okay, if you say so. All right, I think I'm gonna have to wrap it up here. System survey complete. System surveys are happening, but uh, we've we've had our fun, and so yeah, I will see you guys on Friday, and uh, have a good evening.